Okay, I like where we're at. We have got a nice service station going, and as I'm putting on the stickers, I'm really digging what you see here. A lot of little moving parts, very simple, nothing that's going to get, uh, nothing that is going to break and get beat up a little bit, of course, um, with this kind of softer plastic, and isn't that the point, right? But uh, we're going to need, so in order to show off this thing, we are definitely going to need some cars, so let's get to that. Okay, got the retro set as well. Like I said, found that at Target as well. It's the only place you're going to get these. And I'm thinking you can buy the Matchbox set online, at least the service station. I don't know about the cars. But there's the first six are out. They are separated. The first three are cars. The second three are off-road. I wouldn't call them SUVs, off-road cars. So let's go ahead and open up these off-road first. We'll go number four of 12. The first are one, two, three. The first one... Number four of 12 is right up here. The 1989 Chevy Blazer 4x4. Let's take a look at the art real quickly. Like I said, this is that kind of grid look is very much a throwback style for Matchbox back to the 80s, which is really kind of cool. Um, there's all of that information. There's that information if you want it as well, which is kind of cool. Let's just go ahead and open up even the, even the paint jobs. Um, Cool as his art is, look at me, I'm already just ripping it open. So this casting has been slightly modified. It used to have the antenna on the back. Um, but they've changed it. Obviously the antenna in today's day and age is just as a, as a kind of a, uh, it's a danger. Um, whatever you call it, it's a hazard. That's the better word. Um, but you can see the retro styling on this one. I'm trying to figure out. I think they've done some throwback decos here. And maybe there is a matchbox that has this kind of deco. I'm not entirely sure. But it looks kind of cool. The the to be honest, the casting is a little bit better put together now than it used to be. It had you know a little bit more detail in the older casting, but this one feels like in terms of playability is a little bit better. So now we gotta find a place to put this one. Maybe we can we'll just stick it right here. So it's getting its transmission worked on here in the service center. Next one, number five of 12, is the Land Rover 90. Now this one is definitely an old classic as well. This, these are all, these first three are all definite throwback um, castings. They've been around a while. Modified, yes, but they've been around a while. There's the artwork. Let's take a look at the model. The 90's been around, oh, I don't know, that's definitely older than the 110 by quite a few years actually. We can take this one. It used to have a plastic roof, uh, so it was had ultra other parts. This Park Ranger Deco might have been around a long time, but you can see how throwback it is. The basic kind of stylings of it, um, which is kind of cool. Like, I dig this. I mean, that's the whole point of this, is it's a, it's a retro style. I don't have a lot of the older castings of this one. I've got some super fast, some back from the era, like the golden age that I call it, that I collect. Now we got to figure out what we're going to do with this one. Where are we going to put it? Well, I can drive it up the... I uh, should have driven the other one up the path. And uh, should we just park it? Should we just park it? It's kind of going to get in the way of the other things. But we'll just park it there for now. All right. The last off-road cool mud. It is number 6 of 12. Jeep 4x4. Now this casting is... To be honest, there's the art. It's a bit ridiculous. Um, I think if I remember correctly, and this is not my forte with Matchbox, I believe this casting dates back to like the Tyco era. You can see it's just kind of big. It's kind of bulky. They've updated that too. You can see it's, it's got the spare tire in it, which is actually smaller than the other tires. 
it's a bit of a goofy casting. Definitely not one that I'm a big fan of, but Matchbox did want to bring it back and they can use it for things. This Cool Mud Deco was in pink, right? We've seen it a couple times and now they've done it in this light blue for retro. Um, yeah, there's better Jeep castings out here. This is definitely not one that, uh, that I'm particularly fond of. Let's see if it can get uh, its tires serviced. Let's see, how do we open this one? There we go. Does it fit? Yeah, it does. It's got that small spare, so we need to fix that. So let's get that one in there. Get that serviced. All right, three cars. I'm really excited about all three of these. These are castings that I collect. We'll start with number one of 12 is the 1966 Lamborghini Miura P400 casting. I absolutely adore. Rio Sada designed this one back in the day. It's one that he's really been fond of. There's the art. I thought about bringing out some previous issues of this one, but I think I've done it recently. Um, you know, Hot Wheels did their ID, but this one's the better casting, I think, because it looks a little bit, doesn't need, you don't need the big wheels in the back like the Hot Wheels. And I always wondered if they kind of based it on this one. Several colors of this. The best one is the, um, was it Super Fast? Whatever the premium one they did, and they put real riders on it. But uh, anytime they do this Lamborghini, I'm going to collect it. It looks good with the disc wheels. I kind of like it. They've done a side deco that kind of is a throwback. Obviously, this one is a casting that came, what, 15 years ago or so? So it's not part of this, like, retro 80s, 90s style, but it looks good in this color. All right, let's drive it up. Let's figure out what we're going to do with this one. Should we get its uh, wheel alignment? Let's go ahead and do that, and then I think, you know, we can... go let's get it let's get its wheels aligned there that goes all right next one number two of 12 is the 1968 ford mustang gtcs cs stands for california special i don't see the california special deco on this one but uh well, that's all right it looks good there's the art package collectors are going to dig this artwork and i love the artwork on this too um, and here is the model. So you've got, like, it's hard to tell, but it's got some additional deco on it um, around the uh, side intake. And then on the on the hood, there's a red coloring as well. Really is hard to tell. This casting's cool. Chrome interior because that, ha that gives it the chrome bumper and grill and the back bumper as well. So that's what they were doing back in the day. It's very much, it's the kind of cool. The metal flake purple looks good here in the sun. Um, disc wheels. So this is a this is a cool casting one that I enjoy collecting. Let's go ahead and add it. Or actually, you know what? Let's take it down here. You dare take it into the car wash? Yeah, let's do it. So the cool thing about this one, see, this is uh, if you can tell, that's kind of felt. So I don't know if does it have a back side. I guess it does. You can drive it right through there. So it's gonna go get washed, and uh, we'll uh, yeah, it's gone now rolls right through so that's actually at a slant that's kind of cool and I'm assuming the tune-up wanted to... same thing that's kind of cool why not right okay last one of the first six I always like to at least pick one model to kind of go back not that we can go have to go back in time too far but it's fun to put these together this is number three of 12 it's the Mercedes-Benz s123 station wagon this was a favorite last year of mine and many, many others. Um, really, really nice casting in orange. Let's talk about what it's already been on. Now, there's going to be two. I'm going to put this, actually. We're going to park it since it's already, been, it's already been tuned up and it's already had its car washed. So we've had actually three issues before, and there's two out now. There's, the, there's this orange version in retro, which we'll look at in a second. There's a blue version in basic, which I don't have yet which I think is just plain blue, and we'll look at that once I do the new uh, mix of Matchbox. And then this is obviously the first one in green, kind of a olive green, which I really dig the color. You can see all of the other little details on this one. I really do think this is a great casting. Um, big fan of it, and was released last year, and it looks really, really good. We'll just, uh, we'll just park these somewhere. We'll park them over off to the side where you can't even see them. Maybe they get guessed. That was the first two, or the first one, and then there was these two here, which are just so cool. 
And uh, sometimes I have to remind myself about these 1980 Mercedes-Benz W123 wagon. These were the gathering exclusives. Well, obviously, Matchbox just did its, uh, its preview for 2021. Well, they did it at the gathering, and this was last year's gathering exclusive. This was the one of 125 in this kind of specter flame blue with the black trim. It just looks really, really cool in this color. Uh, chrome, all the chrome detailing, all that kind of stuff. I mean, the gathering models are obviously they're premium and they're convention models, so they're always done real fancy. And then the other one, the more rare one, even one of only 75 made, I believe, is this one in green. Same deco, just done in green, which looks really, really cool as well. This is a casting that I don't care what, when, and how they release it. I would definitely like it in my collection, so I was happy to get both of those gathering dinner models last year. And now we have the latest one in orange. Totally sporting the match, the retro matchbox look. But, alas, it gets opened. So it can get serviced. Looking good in orange. You can see, like, uh, I mean, not much details that you need to get to other than the other ones, right? You got the olive green and you now have the orange, the blue is coming. I think we've already scheduled this to be in 2021 as well. Like I said, release it as much as you want. I will be uh, happy to see it. Um, any matchbox wagons are cool. Any wagons are cool, right? To be honest. So that one looks really, really nice. All right. I kind of thought what we should do on this one. Oh, this one, let's put it in the lift, right? So let's move our, actually this one, this one's getting all of its work done. So let's get, uh, the emissions tested on the, uh, I assume that's where it, what it is, right? Should we get them uh, back it up? Well, that one's getting done. We'll move this one over. In fact, let's just, uh, let's get the uh, park ranger over here to uh, get on this lift here. And I believe if you push it forward, let's see if he stays. Yeah, he does. There you go. This is the retro service station. I think this is absolutely positively cool. Um, available at Target online as well, I believe. I love that they're doing these retro sets. Two more to come. And I've heard they might even be better than this one. And I will definitely showcase them once they are released. Um, like this retro series as well with the cool packaging. You guys tell me what you think. You guys tell me if you're gonna get this. Um, I dig this for Sure. Thanks, Target, for having one for me. Thanks, everybody. Bye.